Some of the main uh, it, references in both paintings are, are works in the collection that reinforce that idea of indigenous people as, uh, as dying, becoming irrelevant. And you know, these were popular themes in the 19th century because it really uh, sort of gave people permission to kind of come in and, and, and dispossess us of our lands and to um, uh, you know, uh, settle and expand everywhere across the continent. So um, in this version, um, that, that nuclear family uh, even though in Delacroix's family it was, a, you know, it was the birth of a baby um, that was used to talk about extinction. So I wanted to reverse that in, 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 my, in both paintings and have this, this birth of, of, of new life really about, be about the celebration of, of, our, of life, to be about the celebration and the continuum of our cultures. And in this version, uh, I decided to make this a, a same-sex couple. Um, in the first version, it's male-female, but in this version, it's the same-sex couple. It, um, this is this is a mirroring that happens in the other painting. Um, we have this doctor, African American doctor, who's assisting a character pulling him out of the ocean. Here, um, you know, in, in the other side, it's uh, you know uh, referencing Pocahontas and John Smith. This is a grouping based on the the, the, the French uh, sort of um, neoclassical painting that's here at the Met uh, and uh, the Massacre of the Innocents and. This, is a, this was an important um, theme for me to explore because uh, the, the massacre of the innocents, the destruction of children for me resonated because you know, uh, so many uh, indigenous children were, were uh, taken out of our communities and um, put into residential schools and boarding schools, both boarding schools on the United States side and, and in Canada residential schools. And this was a, a, essentially a definition of genocide. Uh, it's defined as, as genocide but by the uh, United Nations, the, the forcible transfer of children from one cultural group to another. And uh, my own grandmother was, uh, uh, was forced into a residential school. And, and you know, they, the residential schools were so effective at disrupting culture because uh, children were removed from their families and forbidden to speak our own indigenous languages. And this has had an enduring effect through mul multiple generations of impact of residential schools. So here you see the mothers and the young children, and the children having their hair cut, um, uh, very short, uh, is what they did when they entered residential schools. And here we have the, the, um, this uh, rosary, which appears in the, uh, the other painting as well. So there's little echoes like that that happen in both paintings. And one thing that'll, that kind of flips in both paintings is that uh, you know here the indigenous people are in this wooden boat. Uh, we actually bought a boat, a uh, wooden boat. <laughs> and in terms of process, you know, I do, the, I do pencil sketches and then we work with uh, models and we do digital photographs. And so I managed to, to cram all of these people into this boat. Uh, but there's a reversal in, in the other painting, which we'll see on the other side. It's the Europeans who are arriving on the wooden boat. Um, and it's the indigenous people who are on land. And here it's reversed where these white militants or white nationalists are now claiming land. Uh, that you know once belonged to indigenous people, you know, and you know I took inspiration from those heartbreaking photographs of, of, of my, my migrating populations, you know, set set afloat on these little, uh, often too small boats, you know, hundreds of people crammed into these boats, um, going to somewhere better. When I came and did my research here, I really wanted to focus on well-known works. I mean, there's many incredible things here in the in the vaults, but uh, I really wanted viewers to be able to connect with uh, some of the greatest hits here. Uh, there's a reference here to uh, Rubens, uh, Venus and Adonis. This is the Titian, Venus and Adonis. Um, you know, and these were um, striking images to me because it was about, you know, this tension, uh, tension of, you know, these relationships and the dynamism of their poses so that, I, that I was really interested in. Um, here is a, a kind of a much more direct reference to the Natchez by Delacroix, which again, we took, we took inspiration from that uh, Delacroix painting and then, you know, sort of transformed it uh, we did reference for uh, research for you know uh, Pocahontas in in terms of her own nation and the kinds of um, tattooing and this is what, what 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 she would look like and then we also referenced some of the ro romantic paintings and how she was dressed often in this blue fabric which kind of references you know the Virgin Mary um, in some ways so here she is with John Smith uh, there's a variety of different people kind of clambering onto the shore here you know conquistadors priests pilgrims. Uh, of course, uh, an enslaved African. Here's the wooden boat again. You know the, this upside-down kind of uh, shipwreck where people, you know, these rat-infested uh, boats. Uh, the rats.
climbing onto the shoreline here represent you know the bringing of, of, of diseases which decimated indigenous populations. So you know it's a complicated history. I didn't want to simplify it in any way. You know obviously there was a conflict when, when Europeans <laughs> arrived here, but then there was also uh, indigenous people. Well, this is called welcoming the newcomers because our values are are encompassing and welcoming um, to to newcomers. And so Miss Chief here is helping uh, those coming ashore. Miss Chief is a legendary being. She comes from the stars. When I created this character, I didn't really know, you know where she came from. And so she actually comes from the stars, and her, her creation story is kind of in this parallel um, universe to uh, the creation of the other three legendary beings. And now the public is in, and most of them just kind of walk by without giving it a glance or stands waiting to check their coats without looking up, although occasionally someone does. For the most part, this very vibrant, striking, and provocative painting is not attracting too much of an audience. Oh, there, he's looking for a moment.